What is up guys, Johnny here. Today in Shadowgun Legends, we have a tutorial how to solve the puzzle and beat the boss in the Blade Dancer co-op mission. The Blade Dancer co-op mission is pretty hard, much harder than the first one, the Voltaic Fist, but it is possible. It's pretty hard with randoms, but if you know what you're doing, it is much easier. At the start of the mission, when you jump off the ship, it's pretty straightforward. You're gonna have some waves of enemies to beat. Move ahead, kill everything, keep moving up, cannot really get lost there after some fighting we'll get to that big door they got three spots to place charges or explosives so we'll have to look around and find the three charges one of the three charges is on the crates behind the door with a couple enemies the second charge is also on some crates next to the door here the last one is way outside you have to walk through some containers the last charge is behind one of the containers once you have all three charges, you have to go and place them at the door and then move away. That will be a detonation. And there you go. You will finally be able to enter that big room. Now, if you're fast, there's a thing you can shoot inside the security door. But as you enter, the door will close. Don't worry about that. You will have to fight your way around, activate something to go back into this room. There is a switch here behind the reactor. It will disable the forced field. So it's important you go here and activate that first so follow the red line on the floor it will bring you to that room you will activate that switch the red lines on the floor will turn blue you have a very limited time to go back into the security room because the door will close again so you have a couple choices you can do what i did just enter the room clear everything or you can uh, destroy the red switch at the top of the door the, the door will stay open or you can just chip away and hope that the enemies might come out. But then you'll have to activate that thing. Now the gate security bars are open. So you can now go ahead and turn left. You will have access to this room, which was closed before. So it's kind of a poison in there. You have to go fast when you move in. So when you move in, go ahead, turn right and take the right teleporter. It will bring you up. Once you get up there, just clear everything and activate the console and the other things left and right. Then you will take the elevator down. And once you get out, you will go left and left again. It will take you to the teleporter room. Once you reach the teleporters, just clear everything again and move up to the right teleporter. When you get to the right teleporter, it will bring you to another area. You will have another fight there. Just kill everything again. Then there's another security room with a guard inside. You'll have to destroy that red box on the top left work your way around you have a bunch of things to activate in that area so activate everything then you have to go to that console and change the teleporter configuration system then go back to the elevator and go back down you go back to the teleporter room kill everything if you want then you will take the left teleporter now once you go in the left teleporter it will take you to a room that room contains a piece of the puzzle to solve the code for the blade dancer but just remember guys, every time you play, the code could be different. So the code I have in this video might be different from the code you will have in your game. Don't forget to change the configuration for the right teleporter. Now click that thing once and then you will go back. But just remember guys, when you do the blade dancer, have a piece of paper with a pen or something or take a screenshot of the pieces of the puzzle because you have to remember four pieces. Now that you remember the piece of the puzzle, go back in the teleporter. You will be back in this room find your way back to the teleporter room and now you will take the right teleporter the right teleporter will take you to piece number two a lot of people have a problem with that because they say the piece keep changing what do i do or why did i do wrong just take a couple of steps back and you will see on the ceiling there's a red box just shoot the red box and the symbols will stop moving so that will be your piece of the puzzle Number two, make sure you take a screenshot or write it down on a piece of paper. See, now I stopped moving. That's my piece number two. Now exit this room. You'll be back in the gas room or poison room. Take a left. You will be in a room with your piece number one. So right now you had piece number four, piece number two, and piece number one. The piece number three is the one on the console room when you have to enter the code. So exit the gas room, take the right teleporter, you will be back up now. When you get back up, what's right in front of you is the console room with code, a piece number three of the code. 
fight your way, go to the far right and you will be in the room when you actually enter the code. So you get into this large room with four pieces of puzzle with numbers under them, one, two, three, four. So we'll go to number one, you will click that thing until you get the right piece. Then you will circle around to piece number two, you will enter the right piece again. You have to memorize everything, take screenshots, write it down, super important, you cannot mess up. That is piece number four, and the last one will be piece number three. The piece number three was right there on the right on the console room. So once you're sure you have all four pieces of the puzzle right, you will go back to the console room and activate the pass. If you got the code right, you can click on the console. It will say combination approved. Now don't worry, you will be teleported back with your friends and you will have to fight the blade dancer. Now the blade dancer has some weak spots. You have to shoot at the head or in the back. Here's a couple tips to fight the blade dancer. First of all, don't stay close together with your friends because if the blade dancer get you all, you will be wiped out and you will have to restart. So try to stay away, shoot from a distance, get some damage in there. Make sure you revive your friends every time they go down. You don't want to be wiped out. So when someone's down, first job, revive. One of the best skills against the blade dancer is the stunner skill. Once the blade dancer starts spinning, you can actually activate the stunner. It will cancel the spin. It will give you a whole four seconds to deal as much damage as you can. When things are getting hot, you can use the launch pads on the floor to escape danger. Then that's pretty much it. Circle around, stay alive, and do some chip damage to eliminate your target. And that's it. Collect your rewards and do it again. Because this mission has a chance to drop a legendary SMG. So that's it for now guys, if this video was helpful, make sure you hit the like, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notification, watch my other videos, and I will be back soon, thanks for watching.